What is up guys, this is Norm from uh, Daily Fantasy Archive and today we have a six, uh, we have a four game main slate and last night we hit 127.9 cash in all 50 50s, I'll show you the lines right now. Mike Fisher was a punt and he uh, never showed up, which he should have, he was did good in his last games against Chicago and they, he just never showed up at all, I don't know what happened to him last night. It was a good pick with Holpe, 32 points and that uh Winnipeg stack, like I said, was going to pay off, and it did. So if you guys haven't joined up yet, make sure to hit the subscribe button or follow us on Twitter at DFS underscore archive. We give it daily free lines. And uh, also make sure you hit the like button. Let's smash that like button. Let's smash more than five likes on this video to keep the content producing and coming out. Anyways, let's get right into it. On this four-game slate, the goalies that you want to be looking at are definitely either Bernier or Jake Allen. The goalie I'm going to be going with is uh, Bernier tonight. Bernier is playing Vancouver. Vancouver just is on a back-to-back. -back. They just played a really tough game against LA. LA came back on them. It looked like they were going to blow, blow LA out of the water, but LA came back and made it a tough game, and they're tired, and like I said, um, Anaheim's on home ice. They're 27-2. And the Vegas are Vegas odds right now for uh, Anaheim winning is negative two fifty, and Vancouver on the road is nine twenty one. That is complete awful. Vancouver has a backup goalie in net. They don't have Ryan Miller in net, so this should be an easy spot for Bernie to pick up. Maybe even a shutout or really uh, a lot of fantasy points tonight. The next pick I'm going to be showing you guys is that I'm running with is Ryan Getzlaff. Ron Gaslaff's on the second line. He's on the first line power play. The total of this game is at 5.5 right now. It's a pretty high total with Anaheim in the favorite. Um, Vancouver's giving up 10.7 shot, 10.5 shots a game to centers, and uh, they have a backup goal in net, like which I've said before. And in the last three games that uh, Ron Gaslaff has played Vancouver, he has got 22, 11, and 26 fantasy points, which is pretty consistent. And if you look at all of his game logs in the last 7, 10 games, he's playing really consistent, really good hockey right now. So he's definitely going to be a good lock in pick tonight, especially with Vancouver on a back to back with their backup goal in that. Next pick I'm going to be showing you guys is Ron Kessler. He's on the first line, he's on first line power play. You're going to want a lot of exposure to this game as the total's at 5.5, .5, like I said. I came in for you guys right now. This way you'll get a bit of a spread out of the lines if you don't want to stack a full first line or second line and you don't just like stacking lines. You can spread out and you'll get a even, hopefully, that both lines hit and do good and you'll get a bit of an even uh, fantasy uh, points out, uh, overall between both lines. Next player I'm going to be... Putting in my lineup is uh, Jacob Silverberg. He is on the first line, he's on the second line power play, has a goal or an assist in his last three games and plays uh, 20 upwards of 20 minutes a game or more. And like I said, he's on the first line, so you got that Getzlaff, Kessler, and Silverberg, so you, def you have lots of exposure to both lines and the full power play and, and the second line power play. So. If this is a high total game, like it's supposed to be a 5.5, you'll get lots of fantasy points from all these guys if you stack these guys in your lineups again tonight on this smaller four-game slate. Next player that I'm going to be putting in my lineup is Jaden Schwartz. He's on the first line. He's on a first line power play. He's playing with Terrence Sanko. They're all moved up to the first line tonight. Uh, last time he played uh, Colorado, he had 17 points, and they have a backup goal in net tonight. So, which should be an easy matchup, as he's given up 3.17 goals a game, and Colorado's also given up seven shots a game to centers, and their St. Louis is highly favored at negative 185. They have Jake Smith in that tonight. The next pick, getting more exposure to this uh, this game, you're definitely going to going to want to take care of Sanko. Has moved from the second line to the first line tonight. He's on a first line power play and. And first line overall, which I've said, Colorado is an awful team. You're going to want exposure to this game. 
He had a bad game last game, but he should bounce back this game. But before last game, he was on uh, around. Uh, he was on. He was playing really good. He had. He was averaging about fifteen points per game on average. So, which is really good. So he should bounce back tonight against this awful team with a backup goal in it. Next player I'm going to pick is Max Domer. You're going to want exposure to this uh, Carolina game. Last time we played Carolina, he had uh, nine points, which was two days ago, and he's moved to the first line from the second line. Uh, from the first line from the second line, he's on the first line power play, and Eddie Lack is in that tonight. Mike Smith is not playing, so and Eddie Lack has a 3.3 uh, goals against average, which is awful. We're giving up three goals a game in the last seven games. And he only had one very consist uh one very bad game. He's been very consistent and has very high up so upside being on this first line tonight with uh Dvorak and Verbata. Now moving on to the last two picks. Petrangel. Also getting more exposure again to this uh St. Louis game. This is gonna be a very stackable game as they had their backup goal in that and St. Louis should kill them tonight. He's on the first line power plan ever since the Kevin Schottenkirk trade. He took on a bigger role and he plays a lot more minutes. He has a goal and two assists. He has a goal and assist in his last two games. And like I said before, Colorado's awful. You guys all know this. They're the bottom three team in the league. They're awful. Definitely going to have exposure to uh, St. Louis murdering them tonight. And the last pick is going to be Jake, uh, Jacob Selvin. He's a bit of a punt tonight. You're going to want exposure, like I said, to this high-scoring game. It is a uh, 5.5 total. Arizona's on home ways. And um, in his last... And he's on the first line, and Carolina is the favorite here tonight to win. He's on the first line. And like I said, the total's at 5.5, and he's played 26 minutes in each of his last two games and has three assists in his last three games. And you're definitely going to want exposure to this Colorado lineup and their first line with Jordan Stahl on it. That is the pick for tonight. If you guys want to run this lineup, make sure you leave a like and hit the subscribe button if you want to see more content. And good luck in your contest tonight.